Good morning to everyone guys, we are in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. We're gonna explore the city and I'm gonna show you the best places to see, the best things to do, the best restaurants, where to eat, typical food. But actually we arrived yesterday night, so let's get back for one minute and see you soon. We just ate at this restaurant. The name is Ulcecescu. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. It's a hidden gem here in Prague. It's in the city center and we spent like 30 euros for two typical dishes. It was like cabbage, pork uh, meat, potatoes and bread dumplings. Bread dumplings. Which is basically bread. Uh, and also of course beers because here beers are really, really great. Yeah. Good morning to everyone guys. Our hotel is near the old town. Prague is very small. You don't need to rent a car or maybe a scooter. So it's very easy to visit. Now we are headed to the best reviewed bakery in the old town for our first breakfast here in Prague. Today we planned many, many things. So stick till the end because it will be really worth it. It's 8.30 a.m. Basically there is no one in the streets. Yesterday night it was really packed. There were like thousands of tourists all over the city and it was impossible to see everything properly. And the city is crazy. All the buildings, the old buildings, the old city is majestic. At 9 a.m. there is the first show for the astronomical clock. For those who don't know what the astronomical clock is, it's one of the best attractions here in Prague. And fortunately it's 8.40, so we have to wait only 20 minutes before the first show. And we're gonna go there and see it with, I think, less tourists than normal, hopefully. We are very excited. Even though it's 9 a.m. and it's the first show, there are 100 tourists waiting for the first show. Imagine at 6 p.m., 5 p.m. My girlfriend wants to say something about the tower, the clock, and so on. So listen to her. The Prague Astronomical Clock is a medieval astronomical clock and it is attached to the Old Town Hall in Prague. It was installed in 1410 and it is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest clock still in operation. The clock mechanism has three main components. The sun, the moon and the statues of various Catholic saints. And there is a show, an hour release show, every day here in Prague. The first one is at 9 a.m. It's called The Walk of the Apostles. And there are also four figures. There is Vanity, which is represented by a figure admiring himself in a mirror. Miser, which is holding a bag of gold and represents greed or usury. And across the clock stands Death, which is a skeleton that strikes the time upon the hour. Finally, there is Lust, which represents earthly pleasures. And on the hour, the skeleton rings the bell and immediately all other figures shake their heads side to side signifying that they're unreadiness to go we saw the first show at 9 a.m it was really worth it and now we are headed to the bakery for our first typical breakfast here in prague we just bought typical breakfast. We bought three sweets, one with forest fruits and cream, the other one with cottage cheese, and the other one with strawberry and like, like pumpkin seeds. We spent only six euros for this breakfast in the city center. We are in the old town square. We live in Berlin, and with six euros in Berlin, you buy a cappuccino. Only one cup, maybe. <laughs> only one cappuccino that is also very bad. And here, the cappuccino is great. All the food is great. Really, guys, the best advice is to come here as early as possible because there's no one in the morning and in one hour, two hours, it will be packed and you won't be able to take photos properly or maybe explore the area. Now we're gonna take a tour around the area of the old town. Then we're gonna visit the Jewish Quarter and Malastrana, that is the neighborhood after Charles Bridge. Really guys, here every corner, in every spot, there is something special and very characteristic of the city. So it's really advisable to explore the city by foot because in this way, you're not gonna miss out anything. So please don't take hop on hop off buses. They are not worth it in Prague. Now we are at Vencesla Square. There are many shops, restaurants, McDonald's, there is H&M. It's like the main square where all the main shops are and at the end of this road there is also the national museum there is a very important statue it's only 10 a.m and the city is already crowded with tourists it's crazy in august guys really here near Venceslao square there is also the opera five minutes by foot and now we're searching for the kafka statue off we go 
that is the statue of Franz Kafka, the famous writer. It's nothing special, but if you come here in Prague, of course, you have to see it. After the statue, we decided to visit again the old town. Suddenly, we found this market that was on our list, and there are many souvenirs, typical food, and also there is a lot of fruits. Now we continue. <laughs> See you in a bit. There is also a market in the old town square. They sell the ham, also the typical food, sausages, everything. But I saw a vlog on YouTube made by Drew Brinsky, that is a very famous YouTuber, blog YouTuber. And he said that it's a scam. They charge you 80 koruna for 100 grams, but actually it's never 100 grams. So they put like 150 grams and they charge you more. We are in the Jewish quarter, it's very characteristic and you must see it. And there are in total six synagogues. The first one is the Meisel Synagogue, Pinka Synagogue. I think that the most important thing to visit is the old Jewish cemetery and we're going there. I'm in love with Prague. Every area has something hidden and you discover a new building, something particular and it's pretty characteristic. Unfortunately guys, every Saturday the sites are closed for the Shabbat. Today is Saturday of course and so we cannot visit it but tomorrow we're gonna come here again. Okay guys, now we are crossing this bridge. In front of us there is the Chos Bridge. Crossing this bridge we're gonna reach another important quarter that is Malastrana and there is also the John Lennon wall so we're gonna explore the area there is also the castle over there and here it's fantastic there was a market and it's a great spot for taking photos of the city of the Charles Bridge and hopefully this evening we'll have the opportunity to visit everything with the sunset because I think that it will be magical when you cross the bridge, there is a little beach on the left and you can take amazing photos of the Charles Bridge. This is the narrowest street in the world. There are also stoplights. <laughs> it's incredible. Unfortunately, guys, the John Lennon image is completely covered by graffiti. So it's not anymore like it was before, like you see in many photos. I'm sorry for that, but it's like this now. We are searching for something to visit in Malastrana Quarter. And then at 1.30 p.m., we booked one of the best typical restaurants in Prague. Here there is also St. Nicholas Church and it's a great area because you can find many restaurants, typical restaurants, they serve beers, like always in Czech Republic. Okay guys, quick update. Now we are at the hotel. We ate at local restaurant and it was really, really great. It has many positive reviews on Google and the prices are way cheaper than the other typical restaurants. We ordered two appetizers, Prague ham and variety of sausages. For being appetizers, the plates were very big and it was like a main course, not an appetizer. And then we ordered one main course that was fried cheese with tartar sauce and as well it was very authentic Czech Republic food everything was tasty we spent like 575 Czech Corona that is 23 24 euros more or less so it's very very cheap for everything that we ate there Now we are headed to Streleki Island because there is a very famous and big park. Unfortunately, we can buy something refreshing because here the sun is burning today. The temperature is very high. We weren't expecting that. We just arrived at the park. On the left, you can find the stairs and on the right, there is also an elevator. And the park is overcrowded like all the city with many tourists in every spot. There is also a market over there. And the most important thing, the reason why I came here is for this area animals that I'm showing you right now are very very cute I really like them they are like gigantic mice otters something like that but it is advisable to not feed them and also to not touch them or pet them because they are like mice and they can be dangerous they can transmit diseases so it's crucial not to pet them because they are not dogs or cats at the end of the island there is also a spot where you can see the Charles Bridge that is behind me 
and it's something really incredible. I'm really happy to be here because there were many otters and I, I fell in love with them, <laughs> actually. There are many people feeding them. I know that it's dangerous and you shouldn't do it. You should definitely come here because it's really worth it. Okay guys, quick update. Now we are headed to Charles Bridge because we actually booked a boat trip. The departure is from the Charles Bridge and we're gonna explore all the area through the river. We paid 18 euros per person and included in the boat trip there is a guide and also a free ice cream or gingerbread. You can choose also between a free hot drink or maybe a free beer. We chose to book the one at 8 p.m. because there is the sunset of course and I think it would be better to do the trip at that time. For 18 euros is quite cheap I think. You can buy the ticket near Charles Bridge as I seen before if you go near Charles Bridge the main entrance on the right you can find people selling the tickets and it's very easy I just found the candy paradise for candy lovers there is an entire shop dedicated to candies and it's called the candy mines and guys it's crazy really there are countless candies of all flavors and I would like to spend like all my money here at the boat it is pretty cozy I'm eager to discover the river there is a sunset the trip on the boat was incredibly worth it I don't have words to describe Prague with the sunset now we are headed to a okay restaurant because we ate meat for two days I cannot do it anymore I'm not used to it Good morning guys, another beautiful day in Prague, it's 8, 6 and first thing first we're gonna have breakfast in our bakery, another bakery and then we're gonna go to Prague Castle, so we are happy to explore the city again, we're gonna see many many things, see you later. Today is a little bit cloudy but after 10 a.m. there will be like 30 degrees, so hopefully there will be the sun as well. The old town square early in the morning makes a total difference 9 30 10 a.m it will be packed with many tourists and you should definitely come here as early as possible we just had breakfast we paid 15 euros roughly this one was more expensive but the quality of the food of the the pastries and cappuccino was very very high and we are of course in the city center for this reason is more expensive now we are headed to Prague castle we're gonna do something very very important because there is the Charles Bridge and it's only 9 a.m. Yesterday it was completely packed so we're gonna take a tour of the Charles Bridge early in the morning so that there are no many tourists. Since I'm in the best square here in Prague I want to say something important because now I'm paying thanks to Revolut. In Czech Republic there is no euro or dollar you need to pay with Czech Corona and thanks to Revolut you can exchange your money for example you can exchange euros for uh, Czech Corona or maybe dollars for Czech Corona and I think that this one is the best debit card and also you can download it thanks to my link you have a 30 or maybe 50 euro bonus it's for free and it's the best solution if you want to travel in Europe and you have to exchange currencies you can exchange all these currencies for free there is no fee till uh, five exchanges per month so it's a great solution and you should check it out the link is down below in the description and now let's continue our trip I am on the Charles Bridge I discovered thanks to my girlfriend that here there are many myths and legends Saint John uh, I'm not sure as regard the whole name was thrown into the river by the king they say that's because he refused to say what the queen confessed to him it's believed that it was probably a struggle between the church and the king so the saint was thrown into the river and now we have a statue which is the only bronze one and it should be the eighth one coming from the old town and you will see two plaques just down the statue and if you touch them one, I will come to Prague again I guess I touched it when I came here eight years ago and if you wrap the dog you're wishing for a long-lasting and loyal relationship so. 
Okay, now guys, we are in Malastrana quarter and we are headed to the Prague castle. In order to reach the castle, there are many uphills and stairs. So be prepared for that. Fortunately, there is no sun now. Even though it was very challenging, the panorama is really worth seeing. There are many things that you can see for free and now we're gonna explore everything step by step. It will be a long day and a beautiful day as well. We are inside the courtyard where there is the cathedral, there is the Prague castle and it's a must see place because it's incredibly beautiful and we are exploring the area making many videos many photos because it's really worth it and actually by far it's the best thing that I've seen here in Prague no words speechless we bought the ticket for the tower the south tower it's only a six euro ticket and you can see the panorama from the top of the cathedral hopefully it is worth it there are endless steps I'm not joking I just checked 287 steps to reach the tower on top. Six euros well spent. It's incredible, the panorama is something that you don't see easily in other cities. I don't have words like always, and the more I see Prague, the more I love it. And hopefully I can come back in like one year, or maybe for a layover, I don't know, something like that. And it's only four hours by bus from Berlin, where I'm living right now. Let's go down, very challenging. My girlfriend was stung by a bee three times here the in the castle. Got stuck in my skirt so okay. you can imagine and i've just broke my smartwatch going down from the tower it's not the luckiest place here i guess the statues on the trust bridge yeah. didn't bring good yeah. luck <laughs> Now we are at the South Garden and this area is spectacular. There are many, many people like always in Prague, it's overcrowded. We bought two tickets to visit all the sites here. There is the cathedral, there is the San Jorge's church, Maria Teresa's church. You can visit everything. The price is 250 coronas. That's something like 11 euros more or less. But if you are a student, you can pay less, around 125 coronas. That is five euros or six euros. Now we're gonna take a stroll along this area again we're gonna visit the cathedral that is the best thing in my opinion to visit it's 12 p.m now and we're gonna search for some restaurants in Malastrana that is the quarter where the castle is quick update the cathedral was stunning really it was one of the best cathedral that I've seen by far in my life there was a huge line for entering in the cathedral you can also enter without the ticket but you can only see the entrance the main entrance without going inside the cathedral and explore all the, the corners in general it was really worth it then we explored also the other area around the, the castle and we decided to go back now we took the train to come at Bagheteri Boulevard it is like McDonald's KFC I think that we're gonna rest for other 10 minutes 20 minutes now we are headed to the dancing house we are jaded because the sun is burning and it's 3 p.m but we are happy to explore Prague actually so it's okay we just arrived at the dancing house and my girlfriend is preparing for a show here so are you ready I'm not doing anything Near the dancing house, there is Zofin Island. There are many islands here in Prague with many parks. We decided to come here to rest a little bit because we are tired and then we decide what to do after that. Hopefully I can find here as well my little friends, Nutria. <laughs> my girlfriend discovered a garden in his innate, in the Czech Senate and it's pretty unique and very very cute the most important thing for me is that there are free animals there are the peacocks everywhere for example now i just found one in the garden it's incredible this place it's always showing something incredible prague even though you are tired or maybe you don't know what to do if you walk you can find gardens special places and as i was saying there are fountains here there is a brick garden and there are animals so we're gonna take a strong around this area and see other part of the senate now we're going back to the hotel we're gonna rest there for one hour and decide where to eat for the last night here typical food after the metro we decided to take the tram the price of the ticket is always one euro one euro and twenty you can buy it on the tram as well in this way we're gonna go directly to the hotel i want to give you a very important piece of advice i saw only two or three little supermarket and a lot 
lot, a lot really of mini supermarkets all over the city in the old town or maybe in the new town. Water in the mini market that you can find everywhere costs like three euros, three euros fifty for a single bottle of water. And especially if you come here during summer, it is crucial to drink as much water as possible. My biggest piece of advice is not to buy water in these mini supermarkets. Instead, you should buy water at Lidl because you can pay, for example, for four mini bottle of water, still water, or maybe sparkling water, only 80 cents, one euro maximum. Otherwise, you will pay three euros, three euros 50, almost 40 euros for a single bottle of water in these supermarkets. Now we are searching for the restaurant for tonight. See you in a bit. We went to the restaurant, something that we were expecting happened because we read many reviews about Prague. There are many scammers or, or people that are trying to scam tourist traps. You could feel it, I think, mm. when we were there. We, we could feel that it was mm. like not the right place. Long story short, in a nutshell. They uh, charged us more than the bill said. When I went uh, there to pay, the guy asked me, do you want to put tips? I said no, because the service, it wasn't, wasn't worth, good at all. Yeah, no, it wasn't <laughs> the worth the food wasn't good, the, the service was wasn't good. Less than average. The table was dirty. Exactly. After paying, after going out, I received a notification on the app. Revolut, it was Revolut, by the way. <laughs> exactly. The price was higher than the price, than the bill. And so I said, okay, let's go back. I asked the guy, excuse me, why the price is higher than the bill? And he said, no, you said, okay, as regards the tip. I said, no, I didn't say anything at all. He was very nervous after that. He threw the bill in the right and took the money from the cashier the said no coins. we don't want the coins like the cash yeah, we, don't, we don't want money because it was like nothing yeah. compared to the bill and the prices it's in the average but not so, so cheap no, no not it's for how the food was I mean yeah. we ate yeah. at fabulous restaurants and it, they were cheaper yeah. the service was great absolutely avoid this restaurant by the way we are not the type of people that don't give tips if yeah. we receive a really good service we are really happy to give tips we, we went to fabulous restaurants sometimes and eager, we were eager to give tips to people that were very kind of was, but this time it was not the case. Yeah. When you pay by card, always check the price before paying because this happens a lot of times and not only in Prague, all over the world. Good morning, y'all, guys. Today it's our last day here in Prague, unfortunately. It's 8.26 and we are headed to our beloved bakery in Old Town. Our beloved bakery. We are always at the same spot in Old Town. We bought four sweets and always two great cappuccino for only eight euros. And it's the best thing here in Prague <laughs> for my girlfriend, that's for sure. We bought one pastry with walnuts, one with cotta cheese, one with plums, and the other one with blueberries. After 20 minutes of leisure, we decided to come back at the Jewish Quarter because on Saturday, everything was closed, all the sites were closed. In order to enter in the cemetery site and also in order to enter in many of the synagogues in the Jewish Quarter, you need a ticket. It costs around 400 koruna, that is 17 euros, almost $20. So if you wanna visit everything, it is still worth it. I think that I won't buy the ticket because my girlfriend went seven years ago in the cemetery and it's not so incredible and we decided not to buy it now we are going to malastrana again we are crossing the bridge like every day and we want to explore again the Prague castle area there is another city it's very big they want to explore it better and off we go instead of taking the stairs to reach the castle we are still on this uphill and there is a tower over there the name of the tower is petrine tower before reaching the castle we decided to reach the petra tower that's over there petrin tower i'm sorry there are many gardens here it's a great place to visit the sightseeing is incredible look at this panorama there is the prague castle there is the charles bridge all the bridges there is the cathedral over there 
on top of the tower. Not only there is a tower, but there is also a 200 year old carousel, Italian carousel. There is also a bar, there are facilities. If you are too tired to come here by foot, you can also take a funicular from the city, but I don't know where. You can search for it on Google. If you are, I repeat it again, tired, or maybe if you don't wanna come here by foot, it's a great option. Now we are waiting for a bus. If you wanna take a bus from the castle, Prague Castle, to the old town, there is a bus station near the hospital here. You should pay attention because there are different stations. And if you don't choose the right one, the bus won't stop. You can buy the ticket as well on the bus. There are the machines so you can pay by card. And the price is always 30 coronas. It's always cheap. The dangerous bus that I've taken. Remember to sit down as soon as you enter the bus. We are the old town square and we're going to our beloved bakery to eat something typical. If you come here in the center, there is the Cafe Louvre. It is a very important cafe since 1902. It is important because Kafka and Einstein came here to take coffee together. And so for this reason, it's important. Okay, guys, we are at Serleki Island. We had lunch at our beloved bakery. We got the open sandwiches, which are the a typical street food here in Czech Republic and we tried four of them the first one was with fried cheese and onion and tomato the second one was with crab and tomato then another one which was my favorite one the one with cheese and ham and egg and tomato and the last one wasn't so good it was we it was with brie cheese and salad and yeah. We are now unwinding here in this park because we should leave in two hours, Prague, unfortunately. It has been a great, great travel and I'm gonna give to Prague a 9 out of 10. As always, if you liked this video, if you found it useful, leave a like down below and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this. See you in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.